I think you need immense grit and determination to be a small business owner uh, in this environment um, and possibly a degree of lunacy. I come here, they know me really well. Over the years they've learnt my reading tastes and so I can come in and buy 12 books recommended to me and I will love 11 of them. Um, so I am someone who still likes buying physical books and I love the fact that I have a relationship with the owners here and the people who work here and uh, they curate my, books, my bookshelves for me. I want to buy things from places where people are specialised in that, where they have knowledge, where they're prepared to share that knowledge, where they're generous. It is very satisfying if you're a passionate person like me, I happen to be passionate about books, to come somewhere and see an answering passion in someone else's eyes. I think niche businesses are the way to go in the UK. <clears throat> I think we're all wising up about specialisation and the fact that actually um, it is good to get meat from a butcher. Uh, if you're going to get your tooth pulled out you normally go to a dentist. Um, so I think if you're really good at something or you know a lot about something that is what you should be doing. Um, appearance is incredibly important, um, web presence is incredibly important, uh, communicating with your customers is very important, but I think that's part of having a niche product. Um, people who are passionate about what you're passionate about will probably find you. I've been really lucky, I mean lucky and extremely hard working, <laughs> he's a dad. But the business that I'm most proud of is the one that I started with my husband, the bakery business. And I think I was talking to him last night about what we would do differently, what we would say to ourselves 20 years ago. We started 18 years ago, so it's a very opposite question. And I think because we've been successful, what we would have said to ourselves is think bigger from the beginning, because we've had to move location, it has been very organic, the growth. We didn't intend when we started off in our 2,000 square foot site to end up as we are now with 52,000 square feet. And that has meant a lot of time wasting in some ways. Um, so prepare for success, I think. Um, I want everyone to remember that this is a still a nation of small businesses. Clapham is a really good example. There are a lot of small businesses here. There's an ice cream shop, Narduli. We only buy ice cream from there. It's a one, one place shop. My butcher, Moen's, fantastic. I think this campaign is incredibly important because I think we all need reminding that there are people out there, there are real physical people making real fantastic things.